We received a Black Shark 3 Pro dead phone today. Even pressing the power button but it still won't turn on. Okay, let's plug in the charger to test. The phone won't charge. Unplug the charger. Like Poco X3 Pro and Mi 10T Pro, the solution is almost the same in this Black Shark 3 Pros, we also need to reball the CPU. Let's start disassembling the phone. Apply a little heat to the back cover to soften the adhesive. Insert the metal pry blade and slide through. Apply a little heat to the back cover again. Remove the back cover and remove the screws with a screwdriver. Take out the metal shield cover. Disconnect the flex cable then continue to remove the screws. Disconnect the flex cables and antenna wires. Remove the screws on the motherboard. Then remove the motherboard metal cover with tweezers. Disconnect the camera flex cables. Then take out the cameras. Continue to remove the rest of the screws and flex cables. Before removing the motherboard we must first disassemble the display. Disconnect the display flex cable. Then take out the motherboard. Pry up the heatsink metal shield cover. Scrape the thermal paste. Then clean with fiber clothes. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Heat the RAM with a hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the RAM with a pry knife. Take down the RAM carefully. Remove the black adhesive on the side of the CPU with a pry knife. Next, heat the CPU with the hot air gun at 400 degrees Celsius and airflow 60.
While heating, pry up the CPU with a pry knife. Take down the CPU carefully. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Put some low temperature solder paste. Clean the tin on the bonding pads with a soldering iron. Then remove the black adhesive residual on the bonding pads. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Clean the tin on the bonding pads with solder wick. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Detach the motherboard then attach the CPU to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux into the CPU. Clean the CPU with a soldering iron. Clean the CPU with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Continue to clean the CPU. Clean with PCB cleaner again.
Flip the CPU over with the tweezers. Put some paste flux. Again, clean the tin and black adhesive residual on the CPU. Clean with PCB cleaner. Detach the CPU and attach the RAM to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux into the RAM. Clean the RAM with a soldering iron. Clean the RAM with PCB cleaner. Detach the RAM into the PCB holder. Next, reball the CPU. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. Next, reball the rim. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Align the CPU to the right position with tweezers. Solder the CPU with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Touch the CPU gently with tweezers.
Put some paste flux into the CPU. Next, align the RAM to the right position with tweezers. Solder the RAM with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Touch the RAM gently with tweezers. Detach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Apply some thermal paste on the UFS and CPU. Then put the heatsink cover back on. Connect the flex cable then assemble the motherboard. Connect the other flex cables. Connect the cameras. Then connect the display flex cable. Plug in the charger to test. The phone is now charging. Press the power button to turn on the phone. Now the phone turns on normally. Test the functions. Black Shark 3 Pro not turning on has been successfully repaired.